When I initially wanted to build the two exterior walls here at the A-frame for Airbnb in beautiful Cannon Lake, Texas, I reached out to contractors to get quotes. The highest bid was for $7,563. And to that, I said, ciao, please. I built this front wall entirely by myself for just $979.12. Now, the only thing on my mind is, but can I do this again, but again, but again, but again, but can I do this again? Building this back wall will push my creativity to the limits. I have to overcut the fears, push to new heights, but the results will be absolutely amazing. Now I'm building the second wall and I think I can do even better, but we are gonna see exactly how much it cost me to build this back wall before it's all said and done. The first thing I'm gonna do is lay out this bottom plate. All right, right here I'm marking out 16 inch on center spacing for this wall. This is what I do. I like to use these, let's see how many inches they are. Yeah, these are, so these are four inches. These are DRK rugged structural screws. And I use them as bolts for my sill plate that'll go on this actual board. So code says all I have to do is put one bolt every six feet. This is a 30 foot wall. All I have to do is put five of them the whole wall, but I don't roll like that dog. So what I'm doing is putting four within this 10 foot span because I like to have sturdy stuff. All right, let's do one, skip it, two, three, and four. Just, just like that. When I drill, you drill, just like that. All right, here's the next step. So I'm gonna make these top plates. What you wanna do is set your miter saw to 35 degrees. So you wanna scooch it over, pop that thing at 35, just right there. Pop this thing at 35, and then you make your cuts for your top plates. All right, so I'm about to show you how to cut angles on your miter saw that are over 45 degrees. So let me walk you through how I'm doing this. So I know that my first angle is 35 degrees. So I'm just take 90 minus 35, bam, ski, 55 degrees. So if I wanna get a 55 degree angle, what I need to do is take my miter saw here, blow the dust off so I can freaking see, scooch this thing over to 35 degrees, and then get me a scrap piece of wood There you go, right there. And then cut it this way, the opposite. Now I'm gonna flip it back to 90 and chop this scrap piece in half or zero. 90 is zero, zero is 90. Take them and you flip them like this and you secure them. You wanna make sure they're secure so they don't move. That barely fits. That's good. Go. All right, so that holds it, okay? That's the first part of this. So now, anytime I lay a piece of wood here, it'll cut it at 55 degrees. So let's grab that wood. Okay, make sure to give yourself a level surface to get the most accurate cut. And that's what I'm doing right here. Once you get a level surface, you're ready to make that cut. Now, I only have a 10 inch miter saw, so I have to make multiple cuts to get the angle right. But once it's cut, it's perfect. And there you go, a 55 degree angle cut from the miter saw. With the angle cuts ready to go, now it's time to start framing up the first wall. All 
All right, so it's the next build day and I'm back here at the house. And for me, it's pretty cold. For a guy from Texas like myself that is used to like the 100 degree days, maybe over being at 35 on the phone, 30, it says 32 degrees on my, my truck's thermometer. So it's pretty cold out, but I'm braving it because only the best of my guess. <laughs> Cause I want to get this house up and I think people are really going to love this place. I mean, look at the view. The back wall is officially framed up on the first floor. So now is where it gets real. Now it's like, okay, you are 14 feet off the ground on a seven foot deck, no help. How are you going to build that second wall? Previously, I went around saying, oh, this is where I'm gonna get help at. Cause I just need somebody to do like the little top part, the second floor story that way. This bottom part I can do like I did this one. It wasn't that bad. This is where I'm gonna hire a contractor to help me frame up this, this top part of the wall. They'll do it, it'll be fine. Then I got those quotes and I was like over my dead body. Why well, allow someone to take 7,500 from me for that, not happening. So I have devised a plan to do this safely. And I think magnificently, I'm gonna show you. I wanted to have a spacious platform to work from so I could safely build the second story on the back wall. I wanted a platform that was lightweight yet sturdy. So I used two by fours and spaced them out 16 inch on center with 7 16 plywood as a surface and that helped me achieve that light frame. After that, it was time to lift up the scaffolding. So this is the first floor that I've made that I'm gonna hoist up to the air. This is the second. So I have two of these floors right here that I plan on using to help me frame up this big wall right here. After raising the scaffolding with this 1500 pound winch, I was able to secure the platform to the house using the same GRK rugged structural screws that I use on the wall sill plate. I also added two posts, both with diagonal bracing and handrails for safety. Once the scaffolding was in place, I was able to start framing up the second part of the wall. So you're probably wondering, Daryl, were you able to beat those contractors when it comes to pricing? Well, let's look at that. So this back wall was framed up using a combination of two by sixes. There are some eight footers, 10 footers, and 12 footers. I bought a total of 50 two by sixes for $409.20. The flashing I used to tape the doors and the windows was $25.42. For the fasteners, I used three inch galvanized framing nails and GRK four inch rugged structural screws. I used $109.98 worth of screws and nails. The house wrap was $74.80. And lastly, the sheathing was $102 total. So what was the grand total? from building this entire back wall. Drum roll. $721.40. That means that I built the front and back wall for this A-frame for just 1,752 cents. That sounds a heck of a lot better than $7,563 to me. <laughs> if you're watching this right now, I can bet money you agree with me that you like making money and you like saving money. Any contractor bros out there, sorry, but I won again. Our website is officially up for the Revery Texas, which is our short-term rental brand, starting here with this beautiful A-frame behind me. Now go to therevertytexas.com to know exactly when this beautiful A-frame will be open so you can book your stay. So exciting. You also get access to behind the scenes info 
plus coupon codes. I know you'll love that. So sign up for our email newsletter and I cannot wait until you're here. Want to see me crush more projects like this? Click on this video here.